In this video, I'm going to show you how to beat cover three invert for a one play touchdown in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, I upload four videos every single day on YouTube. The goal of my channel is simple. I'm trying to help you get better on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball, share with you the tips, the strategies, the play breakdowns that you need to be successful. So if you have not subscribed yet, I would wholly, I would uh, highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen again i upload videos four times a day one at two o'clock one at four o'clock one at six o'clock and one at eight o'clock p.m eastern time and if you have madden questions you can text those into me my number is in the top left hand corner of your screen and we answer those madden questions every single night on our live streams at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time all right guys so a lot of you know that I believe the New England Patriots offensive playbook is the best playbook in Madden and I actually believe this is just my personal belief that the Y off trips Pats will be the best offense in Madden 21. Now if you want to get my full scheme on this, I actually have an ebook out on the New England Patriots playbook and it covers everything in the New England guide, not just Y off trips Pats, it covers Doubles flex, it covers doubles, it covers a slot offset, gun bunch, split close, all of that stuff. But we're going to talk about why off trips pats today. And I'm going to show you a way that you can really, really um, just glitch out cover three um, in, in all kinds of cover threes. It's, it's, and the reason why I think that this formation is so powerful is it gives you the routes, but it also, one of the, beyond just the routes, it gives you the motion snaps and the alignment problems that are really going to make your opponent have to deal with a lot of stuff. So it was part of what makes this what, probably my favorite offense to run uh, next to the air raid. And, and really it's a fun offense if you want to dive deep into it and kind of learn you know why it works the way it works so let's jump into it so i'm going to be running this against the vaunted nickel um either double a gap against double a gap this offense is like just brutal to defend because of the alignment issues but we're going to specifically talk about 335 wide today and I want to show you a couple things in my coaching adjustments. These are the way most people are going to play you. They're going to have auto flip on. Auto alignment's going to be set to default. A lot of people have been shifting to this ball and air played receiver. I would recommend that as well. Option defense is on conservative. And curl flats are going to be at 25 yards, 20 to 25 yards. So um, nickel 335 wide. And for those of you that don't know, we just released an ebook on this. And in the ebook, we do show you how to defend this formation. Um, but we we want to cover this play with you today so uh mike blitz three is the play we're going to be using it really doesn't matter what play you use from this formation um but i do want to grab a specific one i accidentally hit x there uh, i do want to grab a very specific play because i want to talk about some of the other routes on it and some of the other things that you can do with it um but it's one of the plays that i think is going to be just really tough to stop and that is the pat slot out now the reason that i personally really really like this offense you have all of the alignment things that you can have but if you look at the slot route that slot route in my opinion is one of the best routes in madden every single year and this formation and this playbook as a whole has it all over it so i really like that about this this offense so anyways nickel 335 wide and we're going to be working out of mike blitz three this is kind of America's defense. We just released an ebook on it as well, kind of showing you how to run this. So what you'll notice is that this will auto flip at the line of scrimmage. It's going to auto flip and the cover three is always going to be on the trip side of the field. Most people, what they'll do in that case is they'll put a cover two on the left side. So they'll basically deep half this corner right here. And then they may play Mabel coverage effectively, just like this. You probably have all seen this and they're going to use her over the middle of the field. This is a very tough defense to beat. Very, very tough defense to beat, right? Um, and then they're going to probably press coverage and pass commit. Now, what I want to show you is if you watch this route to, to Scotty Miller, if I were to take Chris Godwin and I were to put him on a comeback or even it, it doesn't really matter what I put him on, to be honest, I'm going to, for this purpose of this video, put him on a corner route, but you don't have to put him on just that. You can do other things with him as well. Um, what you'll notice with this play is we're just going to create a simple flood concept here out of this. And we want to snap Godwin right about there. And what you'll see here is this is a one play touchdown against cover three invert. 
As you see, Miller absolutely destroys his man. And the reason why is because of the alignment problem that this creates, whether it be against base align or it be, or it be against anything else. Because Scotty Miller is in the slot right here, you see, see how this corner is really kind of just trying to kind of figure out what he was going to do. And again, remember, this is a wiggly fade. It's a specific route from this offense. Now, I do want to show you what happens. Uh, I want to show you the same play one more time, and then I want to show you kind of why it's happening as well. But before we do that, if you want to get the full U-Trips offense, I actually have a free sample of the New England ebook in my text message membership, which is completely free for you to sign up for. Basically, every single week, I give you free full offenses and defenses. And so all you got to do to sign up for that is just text me. My phone number is 812 Two one six three six four four. So if you want the full scheme, go ahead and hit me up there. I got a little bit of a sample video that can get you started, and then we also have the ebook in the description of this video. It's the best offense in the game, the most in-depth offense in the game, by far. Over three hundred pages, over thirty-six formations, and over ten hours of video material have been covered on this offensive playbook, which is by far the best offense in Madden twenty-one. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to talk to you a little bit about, so you see that Miller is on this little wiggly fade route to the left side. In my opinion, that is what makes this really, really, really good. It makes it good against cover three. It makes it good against cover two. It makes it good against pretty much everything that the defense is going to do. Okay. But if you take a look here, you know, again, they're going to have to, they're not going to think that you're going to have this lob streak open. What they're going to think is that, okay, you know, they might be able to stop this thing for, you know, a quick, you know, maybe maybe they maybe they can hit it once, but they're not going to be able to hit it twice. Well, I'll show you. This is super consistent. As soon as that corner moves, literally as soon as that corner moves, that's the glitch. And with that corner moving, as long as the as long as Scotty Miller um, is faster than the corner, which you can get yourself a fast guy out there, this is going to work every single time. And what's crazy is we're running this to the short side of the field against this defense. It's the specific route on this play. It's the specific alignment of this play that makes this so, so effective. So I wanna show you a couple of adjustments to this that the defense uh, might do. One of the things that the defense might do is they might say, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go with Mike Blitz three. And instead of deep halfing the corner, I'm gonna put him in an outside third, right? That's where I really like to use this corner route to Chris Godwin because the, what the corner route is going to do is the corner route is going to basically uh, get wide open in that situation. Now, one thing that you can do to kind of help the whole uh, play work together, especially if you want to beat this outside third for a one play touchdown, is as long as you're putting this corner route, and if you let him basically set his feet, this is going to make a huge difference in how this is going to work because now you've got this alignment right here. And we all know that this is kind of the formula for beating cover three over the top, as you'll see right here. Um, now, with this formation, it's one of the more unique ones. He doesn't um, – the, the corner on the – the corner on the outside third, for whatever reason, doesn't always go back. Um, so you can hit your corner out. That's another thing that you can do. So if they leave the outside third, you know, it might be one of those things where it's like just take your corner route. But the other thing that you have to remember is you can do other things. Like you could do something like putting him on a smoke screen. You could put him on a comeback route. You could do all kinds of things to try to get this thing open. Um, but as you'll see right here, I mean, you obviously have the whole middle of the field to work with as well. You have a phenomenal post route, a phenomenal, um, you know, route to the tight end as well that you can leverage against the cover three. So if you start to say, and, and this is where you'll get in a chess match. So if you start to see them running a lot of cover three, then what you can do is kind of a checkmate. You can basically take Scotty Miller and put him on a streak now instead of putting him on that outside fade. Because that outside fade, the outside third is saying, okay, he's going to the outside, so I got to go guard him. So now by putting Scotty Miller on a streak, what should happen is that corner should take the corner route. I actually didn't on that right there. So we just take our corner route, right? Because the beauty of this formation is the alignment is so, so powerful, especially if you have a slot apprentice and if you have a, a tight end apprentice. There's other ways to run this as well. Again, if they're running a lot of cover three, it just depends on what type of cover three they're running. So you could go to something like this play right here, which is pat slot out. If I put Scotty Miller on a corner route, 
kind of run that same little motion right here, you know, something simple just like this, what you're going to notice is they're going to go to the corner route and they're going to leave that tight end most of the time wide open over the top. Sometimes he'll sometimes he'll recover, but not a lot of times. So the point being here, you have the opportunity to really give the deep half zones a tough time with this with this scheme, in my opinion. Uh, you're really going to be able to do that uh, at a high level. So, you know, pretty much that's the that's the cover three. And as you see here, I mean, these outside little fades are so powerful every single year. You can do it for multiple different things. Um, but depending on what cover three they're running, you can actually beat it on the right. And you can also beat it on the left side as well, uh, which is really, really cool. So you just have to kind of know where they're going from. But if you'd like to get more... Um, I wrote an entire ebook on this offensive playbook and broke down literally everything you can do. I broke down 36 formations, broke down a slot, split close, U trips, bunch, trips tight in, everything that you can do from this offense. So if you want to pick that offensive ebook up, that link is in the description of this video. I want to thank you for watching today's video. If you want to get a free sample of the New England ebook, go ahead and text me. My phone number is 812. 216-3644. A lot of guys that have gotten the ebook literally overnight are going from winning five or six games in weekend league to winning 20 to 25 games every weekend in the top level of competition right now for Madden, uh, which is weekend league. Obviously, uh, the MCS is going to be starting back up soon. But uh, anyways, guys, wanted to encourage you to check this off us out. It's really, really tough, and it's really, really effective. Thanks for watching this video.